Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to what I was hoping was going to be ranked double battles, uh, but unfortunately I've been having some issues. Basically, what happened is during the server outages that occurred during the first week of Sword and Shield's release, I got disconnected like six or seven times from double battles. So the result of that was me getting a shadow ban. So I'm literally unable to find ranked double battles for the season. I'm hoping it's temporary though. I'm hoping it'll wear off like by the end of the week. But the issue is I had restarted my entire save. I played through the game a second time and traded my Pokemon over to a friend so we could hold on to them. And I was planning on recording that today. But it still won't let me find a battle because it's recognizing my old record. Uh, PSA, if you try to reset your record, it doesn't work. You have to start a new user altogether, uh, and that would require you to buy a, a second Nintendo Online membership. But that aside, I have a compromise. I am going to be starting a new series where I battle against you guys. So this is going to be a VGC best of three Wi-Fi battle series where I battle against the viewers. If you guys want to be a part of it, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and join the Discord, which is linked in the description, because that's where I'll be looking for battles from now on, at least until this wears off. But I'll still do this at least once a week, even if I am able to get back into ranked battles. But yeah, today we're going to be facing my good friend Mercury. He also has a YouTube channel, and that's going to be linked in the description down below. I really appreciate the help, Mercury. I know you're probably watching this, so yeah, I'm also talking to you on Discord right now via <laughs> via DMs. But yeah, uh, thank you so much. Anyways, let's get on with it. I'm going to be using that one team that I built a couple weeks ago before I was banned for some reason. Uh, we have Assault Vest Scrafty, Focus Sash Pelipper, Choice Specs Dragapult, uh, Life Orb, Dreadnaw, Citrus Berry Rotom, and Ferrothorn with Leftovers. Uh, that's especially defensive Ferrothorn. And that team does have a code. It'll be linked in the description. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, something to note about this team is it was made before the meta was established in any way, shape, or form. So while it's generally good, a lot of the EVs are very simplistic. Uh, a lot of my teams that I'm going to be using in the future will have more specialized EVs. In fact, I'm going to be revealing a team that I built for you guys tomorrow in a video uh, and that's going to be a really fun team. I even posted it on my community tab. And also, by the time this goes up, uh, I should be going live about the time that the video ends. So if you guys are watching this right when it goes up, I'm live on Twitch doing some viewer battles. So go ahead and follow me there and check it out. Link in the description. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and start talking about this game. Uh, looking at his team, I've already wasted enough time. He's going to be running Sand with what I assume is Choice Scarf Gardevoir, because that's what's standard at the moment. Uh, Dragapult. Gyarados and Rotom Heat. So I'd say my best matchup is definitely to lead off with my Scrafty. It gives me a lot of momentum if I get a fake out into the correct Pokemon. And also I can probably lead off with Um I, I wanna bring my I wanna bring my Ferrothorn, right? But I also don't want him to predict me turn one to go out into uh, my Pelipper and just lose that immediately. So I feel like my safest bet is just lead off Scrafty. I'll lead off Scrafty. Scrafty Ferrothorn, I think. I'm max speed Pelipper, which a lot of Rotoms aren't max speed, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. Um, as for things that... Heat, not Heatran. As for things that Rotom Heat hits, it's not much, so I'll go ahead and just go Pure Rain for this first game. And it is a best of three, so we can adjust as we learn more about his team. I honestly think that this is a, the type of content you guys are probably going to want to see, even though like I'm not able to do rank battles. Uh, it is going to be fun doing these, because the end result is you get an idea as to how VGC tournaments go. Uh, I'm assuming this is the VGC format. Usually ranked double battles is what VGC is. Uh, in fact, it's almost never it's almost never not VGC, if that makes sense. It's always VGC. Um, but yeah, so we see the Gardevoir and Gyarados lead. I am going to get intimidated, but I can probably get a free fake out here as he assumes I'm going to go for a uh, fake out into that Gyarados. I am willing to let that Gyarados get to plus one because uh, if this is Choice Scarf Gardevoir, he, he, feels like he's, he probably feels like he's threatening my Scrafty here, right? So, and he also has very few switch-ins for uh, Ferrothorn besides the Rotom Heat. So my best play is most likely to go ahead and fake out into that Gardevoir, expecting some kind of Dazzling Gleam or Moonblast to go off. Uh, but I'm also kind of tempted to try to uh, get in my Pelipper as soon as possible, or maybe even my Dreadnought, uh, and stop that Gyarados from setting up. Uh, I am going to play it relatively unsafe for this first turn. That isn't usually I play. I'm usually a very safe player because I'm scared of... RNG and stuff, but um, I'm going to play it very straightforward. Fake out the Gardevoir, go for this Gyroball into it as well. Uh, leave the Gyarados entirely alone. I feel like it might want to protect here, if anything, uh, and because Choice Scarf Gardevoir is really common, I feel really safe going for that fake out into it, because regardless, we're probably going to hit something. Protect isn't all that common, on Gardevoirs at least. 
Let's see. There's the... Oh, no. Please tell me that's Gyarados. I'd rather have that be Gyarados than Gardevoir. It's the Gardevoir. All right, so I'm going to say that that kind of proves its Choice Scarf in the first place. Uh, maybe with my Assault Vest, I can live a Dazzling Gleam, but Dazzling Gleam is now going to be turned into uh, Max Starfall, so I'm probably going to lose my my guy right here immediately. Fake Out's going to do nothing, and this Jarball will not KO at minus one from this point. Max Flare, though, that's going to do a lot. If it's Mystical Fire, I have a chance. No, I do not. <laughs> so uh, I'd say that we lost a lot of momentum right there by losing my Ferrothorn. All right, let's think about this. I do have rain in the back, and that Gyarados is probably going to want to Dragon Dance up. There it is. So, that's still something I'm getting used to, that Dynamax mechanic where you're not able to uh, immediately... You're not able to... Um, what's it called? You're not able to fake out the Dynamax Pokemon and get a flinch. You're still you're able to fake out, right? Uh, but you won't be doing much. So, uh, my main concern here is probably going to be that Gardevoir. And I believe there is a new speed mechanic I'd like to show off for you guys right here where if you switch in your rain setter, you will immediately get the benefits of that. So what I can do here is go for this max geyser into that guard of war and probably KO with my life orb in the rain up. Let's see if let's see if I'm right. I'm 90% sure this is true. I haven't tested it out because it's not on showdown, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works now. I should immediately get the benefits of my rain. And with this Dynamax, he won't be able to knock out my uh, he won't be able to knock out my Dreadnought on one hit, I believe. Unless he goes for the power whip, which is something I'm 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 very afraid of. I'm very afraid of. We do have a chance to miss, though, but I'd rather get rid of that Gardevoir at the moment. Because Scrafty does a lot better versus this thing than, uh... <laughs> Scrafty does a lot better versus Gyarados than, uh... than Dreadnought does at the moment. Let's see, will he go for the Max Guard? No, but I do reap the immediate benefits of the rain, and I'm gonna be able to get off a Life Orb rain-boosted Max Geyser and get that KO. So we do manage to get rid of his Dynamax Pokemon immediately. Uh, hopefully with my pretty good defense, I might be able to take a Power Whip. I seriously doubt it, though, depending on the Gyarados' set. Let's see if we take it. Plus one Power Whip. We are not taking it. So we both lose our Dynamax Pokemon turn one, essentially. Uh, or on the first turn that they're out. But I am very glad I could get rid of that Gardevoir. Uh, as for what's left on the field, I don't have the worst matchup. I am going to intimidate this Gyarados right here and uh, get it back to neutral. But also, Scrafty has a really nice matchup versus Tyranitar. So what I could try here is a fake out into that Gyarados um, and going for a Tailwind to allow me to have a better matchup versus what I expect is an Excadrill in the back. Uh, but for all I know, he could also be carrying the Rotom in the back, which would be a little bit better for me because under Tailwind, I will be able to beat it. So let's go ahead and go for this Tailwind right here. Um, or I could also just double into the Gyarados with a Scald. I think I get more from Tailwind though because that'll let me uh, beat Rotom a bit easier in case it is in the back, because I feel like I feel like it doesn't make sense for them to only bring Gardevoir as their Ferrothorn check. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll go for that. We'll uh, just get this Tailwind up. I am also, you know, losing my Focus Sash by doing this, because, uh, well, also, just leaving the Sand up will lose my Focus Sash, but I'd prefer to get a Tailwind up in case there's a Rotom in the back, because that'll make it so my Helper guarantees outspeed the, uh, the Rotom. There's the Protect, unfortunately. Let's see if he goes for the Rock Slide or the Dragon Dance here. Fake Out goes into the Protect. Here's my Tailwind. I might get lucky with the Rock Slide in this. That's also a sign that's possible. And there's the Super Power into my Scrafty. I actually prefer the lot more than, that, than the alternative. Um, than the Rock Slide. Because here, I feel relatively safe... I'm, I'm faster than the Tyranitar now, so it should die to a close combat. And I can also go for a burn into that Gyarados with a Scald, so uh, things aren't completely lost yet. I do have a couple of things I can pull off here. If this is Assault Vest Tyranitar, it shouldn't take this close combat. And if I get the Scald burn, I'm actually not in a bad spot. So we'll go for the close combat. If it's Assault Vest Tyranitar, then that means that I won't be able to protect here and he's just going to have to lose it. But I am also in range of a strong Gyarados attack. It is not a Salt Vest Tyranitar, so it is going to go for that Protect. Let's see if I can get a Scald Burn off. Here I go. Give me that Burn. Ah, no Cigar. Okay. So, Gyarados is now at plus one attack, plus two speed. Uh, so, it's essentially neutral between the Gyarados and the rest of my Pokemon because of the fact that it is now at plus two speed. The Tailwind's kind of negated. Uh, but I believe my best play here is to once again... 
attempt to go for a Scald Burn. I really don't have any other routes. Uh, Gyarados will be able to sweep through the rest of my team if I don't go for this right now and get it. Uh, unfortunately, I am a Salt Vest Scrafty, so... Oh, ignore my phone ringing. Uh, I am a Salt Vest Scrafty, so that is going to mean that I can't protect here. There's the Waterfall. I'm probably going to lose my, my Scrafty here, so that's unfortunate. But something to be gained from this match is we now know a lot of things. We now know that uh, the Gardevoir is most likely Choice Scarf because it didn't opt to protect that first turn. Uh, on top of that... Uh, the Gardevoir is carrying Max Flare, which is probably going to be coming out from something like, uh, what is it called? It's going to be coming out from something like uh, Mystical Fire. So that's that's good information that we can take into the next one. Alright. So I am just going to forfeit here. There's no point in revealing any more information about my Pelipper. Luckily for me, I didn't reveal Focus Sash yet, so I can keep that in the back of my pocket. Uh, if in case I need to just set up in his face, I can get a Tailwind off for free. But we also need to be a little bit more careful about the Dynamax in the next game. Yes, I would like to receive his lead card. Alright. Play with the same rules. And participating team... Get some different music in here. Let's change the vibe a little bit. Uh, I'd say, dude, Oleana. Oleana, her theme was kind of, her theme was kind of fire. So let's think about an adjustment I can make here. Uh, I can guarantee myself to live the, I can guarantee myself to live a hit from that Gardevoir if I switch in my Pelipper early enough. So I think I'm actually just going to, do I get a little more from Rotom? Should I, should I bring in Rotom? The burn would be nice versus that Gyarados and I do threaten it a lot that way. I might adjust and bring Rotom, but Scrafty is too good in this game to pass up. It helps me beat uh, Dragapult, Excadrill, and Tyranitar. And we also didn't see the last Pokemon he brought there, so I need to be careful about that. I'm thinking... I still think Dreadnought's the good play. I still think Rain Offense is one of my best options. Um, but I guess I'll, I could also bring Dragapult and just shut down everything. Um, but I still need to be careful about the Choice Scarf on that, on that Gardevoir. I think I need to bring the same team as before. I think that's what I'm going to do. Er, mm. Try this. Darthorn gets me so much if I can if I can get rid of that Gardevoir early enough. We'll do the same thing. Right. Get out of there. <laughs> we'll do the same thing. I think I brought the right team. I, I just think I played it poorly that first game. For all I know, he might adjust his lead, so I could adjust a bit depending on what he has. Uh, if they do decide to bring the Gardevoir in the lead again, then I know that they have that Max Flare and I can switch in my Pelipper immediately to allow myself to live that since I am sassy Max Special Defense. Uh, I will be able to live that if I keep my rain up. Let's see if they made an adjustment. No, same lead as before. Uh, and here's where mind games come in. The thing is... Ooh, he's going to trace my Intimidate. Ah, that is not good. Okay. So, if you didn't know, Intimidate or Trace affects the thing right across the field from you. It always affects the thing immediately across the field from you. So, you need to be careful about that. Uh, that was actually a really smart adjustment if he expected me to pick the same Pokemon in the first slot. Because that would mean that he gets two Intimidates off versus me, while I only get one. That means that both of my Pokemon are extremely neutered at the moment. And it's probably in my best interest just to double out here. I'd say... I'd say I should switch in my Dreadnought right now. In place of my Scrafty. Because uh, I should be able to take a hit. And go for a protect immediately because I can take a max flare and I'm going to pull the same shenanigans I did with him last game where I switch in that Pelipper immediately. And the reason I don't want to switch in the Pelipper um, right now is because what will happen is if they do go for the max flare then I would have to Dynamax to get my rain up. So that's really cool. I think that's honestly the reason they changed the speed mechanic is because terrain wars and weather wars are a lot more uh, a lot more dynamic. You need to be careful about that. So there it is. There's the Dynamax. I'm what I'm hoping for is Max Flare into my Ferrothorn. Despite me protecting, um, 
despite me not switching out immediately, I would prefer that so much more because that would mean that uh, not only am I going to... <laughs> How am I, what am I saying? So basically, the Protect will save me from dying. It's going to go through Protect, but I'm going to take reduced damage. So it should save me. Uh, max Starfall, however, would be not the best for me. There's the Max Starfall. It's going to hurt real bad, but I think I can take one. Oh, that was close. All right. Show me the Dragon Dance. I would prefer that above anything else at the moment. And we can also uh, we can also anticipate them to want to try to go for a uh, a max guard onto their Gardevoir, knowing that I am able to KO it with a uh, single max liquidation. So I think what I should do here is uh, go ahead and not Dynamax. I'm going to anticipate them to want to go for that Protect right now, or the max guard. I'm going to go for the normal Rock Slide, and I'm going to switch in my Pelipper right now to get that speed up. And if they do go for that max guard, uh, which is the smartest move on their point, or on their side of the field, uh, I am going to get some damage off on that Gyarados and also possibly flinch it. And then next turn, I can Dynamax and go for that KO onto the Gardevoir because it's going to be much safer. Let's see if I called this correctly. Show me the Max Guard. No Max Guard, unfortunately, but I am going to KO the Gyarados, which is huge for my side of the field. I would... Oh, we got the crit. That's a bit much. <laughs> Uh, I do also keep my... Ooh. Okay, never mind. This is no longer good. I was hoping that my Dreadnought would live that. Let's see if I take another Max Starfall here. Oh, a Max Flare. I'm honestly fine with that because I can Dynamax this next turn. And uh, bring in my Scrafty, right? So my play is probably always to... I could even Max Airstream, to be honest. I feel like um, what I do here is I bring in my Ferrothorn, right? I bring in my Ferrothorn. I... And I can probably Dynamax and go for the Max Geyser, since this is going to be their last turn with this. So Ferrothorn comes in. I'm baiting out that Max Flare. And I immediately switch out into my Scrafty. Hoping... <laughs> hoping that they go for this. Uh, and I can Dynamax right here and go for this Max Geyser uh, into that Excadrill. Not pick up a KO, but uh, get a little bit more from this, because I am going to... Um, I'm going to be able to deal some decent damage. Uh, of course, the sun is going to allow the Excadrill to most likely live this. But also, I will have my Dynamax Pokemon up while theirs is going to be uh, taken down in this next turn. I love that Netball for the Pelipper. I don't know why. I I'm a big fan of the Netball for water types. At least aesthetically. I choose my Pokeballs based on aesthetics. So I should be able to take a max Starfall with this increased HP. Uh, oh, please let that be into Pelipper. All right, good. If that was into anything else, I was going to be in big trouble. There's the Rock Slide. Pelipper is going to go down, unfortunately. Uh, but I am now in a position where I can actually... Ooh, that crit? It might have mattered. I don't know. Probably not, uh, depending on if the extra duel is Life Orb. Let's see. Not Life Orb. I'm not sure, then. So, my best play here um, is definitely to protect my Scrafty. Or, not my Scrafty. Definitely to protect my Ferrothorn. If it is Choice Scarf Gardevoir, I am now able to go for that fake out. Uh, for the fake out into the Gyro Ball. And as obvious as that is, that is still my best play. Because if they have what I hope they have in the back, being the Tyranitar, then I'm in a really good spot. Because. Like, Ferrothorn is going to be able to wall that Tyranitar and wall the Excadrill. And while Tyranitar is able to go for a superpower, uh, I am going to get some decent damage off beforehand. Yeah. And I did intimidate the... the, the uh, what was it called? The Excadrill beforehand. So let's see if I can take this to a Game 3. That's what it's about right now. Here it is. Iron Head's going to do a decent chunk. Garibald. Let's see how much I can get off right here. There it is. Okay. So right now, what I'm scared of most is that Tyranitar going for the superpower into Scrafty and getting the KO. Because that means that I am not in a good spot at all. I believe my best play here is to allow my Ferrothorn to take this damage. Just let it. And go for the close combat into Excadrill and the Gyro Ball into the Tyranitar. 
Hopefully he doesn't predict me. I'm hoping that he just goes for the superpower into that Barathorn immediately, because the superpower into Scrafty is no bueno. There's the Iron Head. Right into the Scrafty. If I don't flinch, I might be able to win here. He doubled into the Scrafty, unfortunately, which means I'm most likely going to lose here uh, to that one move. What is it called? <laughs> Why can't I think of the move? Uh, Mystical Fire. But the game isn't completely lost yet. Uh, I can wall out Excadrill pretty well. So I guess my win con here is living a... My win con is essentially living a... Um, what is it called? Living a Mystical Fire, which I, I have a chance to. I couldn't live Max Flare <laughs> because uh, it's really strong. But non-stab Mystical Fire coming out from Timid Gardevoir is completely doable. There's the Iron Barbs. That made this a lot harder, to be honest. That might actually be the thing that breaks the camel's back here. Uh, my game plan here is just to go for it. Or maybe I should even just protect really quick. Uh, the reason I want to protect right here is if it isn't Choice Scarf Guard of War, which most of them are. Most of them are. I should always scout. Just in case they go for a protect. There's the Iron Head. And I can also... I don't know how much PP Mystical Fire has, but if it isn't that much, I might be able to take this. Or I might be able to stall it out a little bit. Uh, and that also is going to give me a little bit more sand chip damage. So let's hope that this... <laughs> let's hope we're able to live it. We're sassy max special defense. Gardevoir is a really strong special attacker, but this is non-stab, and Ferrothorn is a very bulky Pokemon. While it is four times effective, I have seen Ferrothorn take a Mystical Fire before. And we did just get a follower. Oh, that's probably going to break the Camel's back. That crit right there. And that might have sealed it for me. That may have just sealed it for me. Oh my god, we lived. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, never mind, guys. Never mind. Uh, that was essentially my win con right there. The Iron Head, uh, the Iron Head flinching me was a little bit much. <laughs> I could have, I could have actually brought back this game because Extra Drill doesn't have the tools to deal with Ferrothorn as soon as I get set up, especially at minus one. So that is going to be game, unfortunately. Uh, I really wish I could have taken it to a game three, but that sort of stuff happens with Pokemon. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm just glad I could show how to bring it back from that if I needed to. Because, yeah, that doesn't do nearly enough to knock me out after Leftovers Recovery, and I could have stalled him out. Mystical Fire, I'm 90% sure can't miss. So there it is. Good game. Unfortunate for me. I Oh, the crit. <laughs> oh, it's whatever. So unfortunate for me, I wasn't able to get that. Uh... That is game, though. That is two games for Mercury and zero games for me. I really wish I could have brought it back, but it's whatever, guys. Let me know what you guys enjoyed this in the comment section down below. I know I lost, but uh, I feel like I displayed the team pretty well as to how it plays, and I was able to show off the new rain mechanic uh, in the process of doing that. So yeah, uh, I'll be live streaming immediately after this doing viewer battles. Uh, or not immediately after. I'll be going live at like 7 p.m. Link in the description. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Thank you so much. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Also, be sure to check out Mercury. He's a really cool dude. See ya.